what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so we're going to be talking today about some things that should confirm more or less that jeepers creepers 4 jeepers creepers reborn is going to be keeping all of the other films canon if not alone the first movie at least based off of some prop some props that have shown up online and some other things that have come out from the film that are behind the scenes if you are someone who has been digging you probably have already seen these things things that i of course have again been told i'm not supposed to be sharing so i'm not going to share them here so i'll just go go over some of the things that i have seen and let you guys be at ease to help, hopefully let you guys be at ease with the fact that this movie would be ignoring anything it still could potentially be ignoring at least the second and third movie but now we at least know or there's proof out there that the first film is remaining canon so some of the things that have come out from the set of Jeepers Creepers Reborn, which is set to come out later this year in the fall, is we have like what appears to be voodoo dolls. And these voodoo dolls, they have, uh, they're of like old characters that have already come and gone from the series. One in particular has a yellow Bannon County shirt on it and some jeans and black shoes as Derry wore in the beginning or it throughout the whole film of or at the, throughout the first half of Jeepers Creepers because he did change his shirt halfway through. Um, so we have a voodoo doll. It looks like of Derry. We have a voodoo doll of the cat lady with her with her gun that she comes out ready to shoot the creeper with. And then we have the cop who got his heart torn out. And we have another voodoo doll of someone who lost their legs, someone who had their head chopped off. You know, it's just those two, those three voodoo dolls of the cop that got his heart eaten out, Derry's voodoo doll, and then the old cat lady with the, and then Derry, of course, having the Bannon County shirt on, that should be enough to let you guys have some, some relaxation in knowing that this film would at least recognize the first movie's existence. We at least know that this should also be more proof that this film is picking up 23 years later after the events of the second film. It's not a complete full fledged reboot uh, that this, this this I just want to say this like the, the films in and of itself. They each have their own story that they're telling anyway, while being loosely connected to the next because they're in the same universe. The Creepers constantly focusing on a different topic in each film. But they're all in the same town and area. And then hopefully down the road, we'll get to see all of these survivors connect with each other. That's what we were hoping we would get from the Jeepers Creepers 3 we were promised uh, back in the early 2000s. So we have that as proof that they at least are going to recognize the first film and that this is 23 years later. Hopefully after the second film, if they're keeping that canon. The other things that came out from on set was just footage of what looks like, I guess, some type of stunt double for the creeper kicking his way through a window of sorts. Maybe this is at the Horror Hound Festival. We know that he's going to have his his weapons back. Uh, he's going to have his throwing stars, not necessarily his throwing stars, but his I'll say his throwing daggers anyway, with the engravings on them that we saw in the second film. Those are going to be back. And I'm expecting, honestly, this movie to be more more action-packed i think when i say more action-packed i'm just saying based off of the things that i see uh there's been f there's footage of explosions that apparently will be going on in the film now if this doesn't actually occur that's because it got cut out but there's things that have been online showing footage of an explosion happening this is presumably happening to his truck and this is just things that i'm looking forward to and excited about from th the things that i've seen and again there's been that footage of him kicking his way through the window that could possibly be him kicking his way through the horror hound festival window some type of art house or some type of haunted house that they have at the festival when that kicks off later that night or day or whenever it starts the other thing that we saw was some prosthetic heads of what looks like uh prosthetic creeper face faces or something like that like how jonathan breck has his prosthetic creeper face that we that plenty of you i'm sure have seen if you look at the behind the scenes featurettes of the first second and third film but a lot of these face uh prosthetics don't look like jonathan breck there's one in particular though that does so what i want to again just say is there's no official confirmation that jonathan breck will be back as the creeper all we have right now is just speculation i hope he is back something in my guts telling me that they replaced him why you would go out of your way to buy the rights to this ip only to replace and recast the creeper is anyone's guess i don't i don't know why you would do that because I'm, I'm sure they shield out a lot of money to get the rights for this so if jonathan breck is in it what i'm thinking based off of these 
base prosthetics that I have seen that do, that look nothing like him. One in particular does. Uh, not to say that it is him, it just looks like him. And those of you who have seen it on my social media, you know what I'm talking about. The other two that look nothing like him, they could be people who have been given the creeper makeup because they're coming to this horror event dressed up as the creeper maybe there's some type of i've seen people send messages my way talking about this maybe there's some type of competition that goes down where they're giving out the best costume there might be some individuals there who are dressed up as this urban legend the myth the creeper because we know at least now that also the process the, the voodoo doll of dairy should tell us that this louisiana area is where bannon county is this is where poho county is that doesn't mean that they'll be in this area but this is at least an indication of them now saying that oh this whole time we've been in louisiana with these counties and i know someone has told me already louisiana does not have counties again movies don't have to be a near perfect representation of our actual world so go nuts with that if you want to but the simple fact that going back to what i was saying they could be having some type of competition where multiple people are coming to this festival dressed up as the creeper and then this is why we might have so many different face prosthetics or face castings because they've chosen different people to be in the creeper makeup one of course being the real one which we're hoping is jonathan breck the other one being someone or two other people who are just there because they heard about this heard about these myths growing up about this thing that's out in this farm somewhere that you have to pay to see with this old guy with a uh with a son and they make a profit off of it and they just tell stories about how they killed it 23 years ago and you know because there's been 23 years since the last film so 23 years have passed that's enough time for someone who of course is would be 23 years of age in this film they've come and gone and been raised around things and heard stories about something they've never seen before but they've heard descriptions about it and now they're here at this horror hound event dressed as it that's what i'm hoping if jonathan brett got replaced i have to see who they got to replace him i have to see how the makeup looks on this individual before i even say i would give them a chance I would still give them a chance. I just don't see anyone doing it like Jonathan Breck. I'm sorry. And I know that if Breck is not back, that's going to be one of the biggest detriments to this entry after waiting so long to have something 23 years later. Now we've lost Jonathan Breck, if that's the case. But let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe, turn on post notification, name this video. In the description, I have links to my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there. Of course, let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. Um, with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video. And go ahead down in the comment section below. Join my Facebook group so you can message me there to talk about anything regarding Jeepers Creepers or just post anything horror related.